If a proposed bill is passed, any Texan renewing or registering for a driver's license will automatically be registered as an organ donor unless they opt out. And not everyone is in favor of this move. CBS 4's Patrick Chalvier is in the studio to explain. Well, Eddie, when Europe passed a similar bill, access to organs reportedly increased, and it's that same increase that a state representative is hoping to bring to the states. But Valley residents tell me that move will actually take away the rights they have. Around 10,000 Texans are currently awaiting transplants, and when you register or renew a license, you're given an option to become an organ donor. But a recent bill filed by Dallas Representative Jason Vialba would change that. If passed, you'll have to opt out of donating your organs. If you don't, you'd be listed as an organ donor. However, many Valley residents say free choice will be affected. I think he's going way beyond you know, his authorization to do something like that. I don't think that's right at all. It should be something that is of choice. That is the whole principle of why we have our system. In a statement to CBS 4 News, Donate Life Texas said, quote, we continue to hold that an opt-in approach to registration is the most effective and ethical method for donor registration. Donation must be respected as a highly personal and emotional decision. Some are concerned the wording may confuse people. They have the option, but do they really know about it? Are they really aware about the consequences? And most of the young kids don't even know exactly what that means. So can I be a donor? And what about religion? This country was, you know, built based on religion and everything. and. Uh, and I think there's a lot of religions that, uh, you know, the owner, their, their organs or anything, they want their bodies intact. In a statement, Representative Vialba said if passed, the bill will help to save thousands of lives. Rather than changing the current system, Donate Life Texas says their registry will hit 50 percent by the end of the year. We have the right to make those decisions. But when someone comes in from a governmental standpoint to make that decision for you, then what's the point of going in and doing it in the first place? If passed, Texas would become the first state in the country to have an opt-out law for donor registration. Last year alone, over 900 Texas donors made nearly 3,000 transplants possible, a 31% increase over the last five years. In the studio, Patrick Shelvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.